the factory of the world, a source of the globe's goods and products made readily available to international markets. Historically, China's manufacturing prowess has defined its economy for decades, even until this very day. But for decades, the country has shifted focus on transforming and upgrading the manufacturing sector, one which is only getting stronger and smarter. These intelligent home appliances in my hotel room have made my stay here a bit more comfortable and convenient. It's something I've witnessed, having spent four years in Guangdong province. Now I'm here to see more of that, and where I'm heading is home to some of South China's most renowned product creators and engineers. So I'm here at the Guangdong Industrial Design City. It's based here in South China in Foshan. And as you can see around me, it's consumer goods all for the elderly. I'm right here, all the wheelchairs, and a lot of these products are being created by the designers who come here to the space to create and eventually put their products out on the market. To my left, accessible, friendly uh, sinks. This is the kitchen area. And to my right here are the bathtubs. And I'm gonna tell you, these are quite convenient for anyone trying to get in. Uh, be whatever disability you have, you'll be able to get in here. Let me close this up right now. Now in 2012, the Chinese president also paid a visit uh, to this design hub, to this design center. He paid specific attention to this very bathtub, saying it brought a sense of practicality and a sense of humanity to consumer products. I've met with Li Aying, a manager that's seen the growth of this business park as she reflects on what the Chinese president called for during his visit. And with that in mind, the industrial park has shifted focus in line with the president's guidance. Industrial design in Foshan has gone from being a dowry for manufacturing to being a driver of the industrial chain. 从以前的，我最开始最开始我只有一个六十平方的办公室，对，到现在我有一个两千八百多方的办公室。Xiong is the winner of the 2021 Forbes Top 10 Intelligent Designers Award in China. He tells me nine years ago, after graduating and working in Germany, he returned to China with confidence, witnessing great changes in his motherland's industrial upgrading and design boom. 在德国的话，这些五金品牌像是你抽屉里的一个滑轨，门的一个铰链，对，其实是都需要工业设计的。但是在中国发展这个广东发展的初期，一些像五金企业它是认识不到说哦，这样一个小的东西还需要工业设计
but you can't mention Foshan without mentioning one of China's largest home appliance manufacturers, Maidea. And here in this city, in Foshan, there's streets, buildings, subway stations, even the hotel I'm staying at is named after the company. I'm heading over there right now to see how they've grown their brand, but more importantly, how they're going through a phase of industrial upgrading. Let's go. Maidea is one of the leading companies in the home appliance industry in China, listed number one in terms of revenue. After 10 years of digital transformation, it has become a digital benchmark for China's manufacturing industry. Earlier this year, the company invested 10 billion yuan in Foshan to build a digital technology industrial park, which will include low carbon technology. For Maidea, Foshan's manufacturing history is ingrained in their values as they continue to upgrade and strive to be the world's largest white goods and appliance producer. I'm meeting with Mr. Wu Haifeng, a professor who has been focusing on the strategic development of companies in Shenzhen for years. But是未来的工业发展一定是要靠数字以及数据赋能上去进一步的获取攫取更多的市场利益。比如说，我一个大型的工厂，我的应用处、我的存货、我的用料、我的中途的转运以及到后面市场客户的一些需求，都是需要通